How to use Planable for beginners. Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use Planable for beginners. First of all, we're going to be here at planable.io. Now to start with, we're going to click and register over here on the top right. Now this will redirect us to the register page and as you can see here, we can sign up with Facebook or we can sign up with Google or we can put in our name and then our email and create a password and after doing that we can simply click on sign up so right now we're going to click on sign up with google then we're and then you're going to have to choose a google account that you're going to sign it into now this will now redirect us to this page where it will ask us about our company and our company name now i'm going to put in coffee world and then we're going to add a company logo that we will use now our company logo is uploaded we can preview our company logo by clicking this icon or we can delete it by clicking this delete icon. Now we're gonna go and click next. Now it's going to ask us what describes our setup the best. For right, for me, I'm gonna put in brand, then we're gonna click on next. It's gonna ask how many people are involved. You're gonna have to put how many people you are in your team. But right now, since I'm alone, I'm gonna click on one person. And then we're gonna click on next. Now the next thing it's going to ask us is if you want to create a workspace on our own or if you want to see in action how it's going to work out. Right now, I'm going to click this to show you guys how we, how to use the different functions in Planable.io. Now, here we are redirected to a sample workspace of Planable. There's a lot of things in our screen right now and I'm going to explain each and every part of it. Over, over here, we can see a feed under Facebook. As you can see here at the top, feed currently on Facebook. As you can see here, there's images and there's options for this post, such as view post activity and more options. By clicking this, this will show us our, this will show us this preview where we can see on the side we have comments and activity. Seeing the activity, we could see who has accessed it and who has posted, it, who left the comment and who viewed this post. You could also see on the left side, you could see that the group is saved as an ad and was approved by Nora or anyone who would have been in your team. You could also see on the top, you can change it from desktop to mobile to see how it would look like. Now we could share this post by clicking here with the, and then this will allow us to share this post with a link. And right now we're gonna click on X. Now we can create internal notes for different posts such as by clicking here, okay mention a team member and then click on whoever you want to mention then you can add a comment for them like for example add a better caption caption and you can attach files to this comment as you can see it's eternal note which means only your team members will be able to see this message over here to send it we're going to click on post and then the, our message will be posted over here. We can also add a reaction to our post by clicking this icon over here. We can add, we could choose reactions from the emoji options. We can add a smiley face. As you can see, a smiley face has been added over here. We could also edit our comment by simply clicking on the edit mode. And then we can see here, we can edit our message once again, and then we can delete it or update it as you can see here on the top there are multiple different social media click this drag button and then we can see more like youtube tiktok pinterest blog we have also instagram over here now we can click on this individual social medias and this will navigate us through the different social medias and observe the different posts that is created on them for example here in instagram we can see the different posts that our team has posted in Instagram. You can also see in this social media, we can see it in Twitter over here. Now we can add more pages to our workspace by clicking on add page, and then you could add Facebook page or Facebook group, or you can create your own mock-up. There's also options for Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google, YouTube, TikTok, and Pinterest. 
Now we can click over here on the three dots and we can see that we can import post or export, export post. We can also see the page settings and clicking it will allow us to see all the sample work pages that we have. We can filter and sort our post by clicking on this filter and then we can sort it by last created, first scheduled date, last scheduled date, recent comments, last activities, and custom orders. We can also filter by approved status, post status, feedback, and activity, the different labels, period, post type, contents, and the authors. You can also search in specific posts, so you can have an easy time looking for the posts that you are looking for. You can also hide theme only posts and show archive posts. And now you can also click this media library where you can see all the files that has been uploaded in all your posts. And you can see how many times they have been posted. Now, as you see here on the top left, you can see on the feed view. Now, when we click this, we can see the different options of viewing over here, like feed view, calendar view, feed view, grid view, and list view. We can see, we're gonna check out the calendar view. And then we're, we're gonna see the calendar of post. We can see more posts by simply clicking here, which will allow us to see both Facebook and Twitter. As you can see, there is a Facebook post over here, and then this is a Twitter post. And we can add all the different websites if you want to see them. There's also a list view where you can easily see all the posts in an organized way, and then you can select the ones that you want to see, and then you can disapprove them, or you can schedule, or you can or you can copy, and then there's more options here like mark as publish. You can hide them from clients, make them visible to clients. You can restore posts, you can set label, approve, and request approval. You could also archive them by clicking this icon or delete the selected post. There's also a grid view over here, which is a very aesthetic way to view your post. Now we're going back to feed, feed view. And we're going to try and composing a post by clicking this compose button. Now over here, we can write anything we want and then we can select where it will be uploaded like for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more different websites. We're going to click on, let's say, hello. And then we will be able to upload this post in every social media page. Because as you can see here on the top, it is synced on now we can click disable here and we can individually create a unique post for each page like for example we can say here hello twitter and then on facebook we can change hello facebook we can see that it is different and unique for each page because when you navigate to the twitter it has a different message now you can simply upload the image or video that you want you can also add the gif or you can add from your media library. You can also set a time on when it will be uploaded, like from today or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or a specific date, like select a custom date, then set perfect time. You can also change the time zone of your workplace. Now you can click here, you can schedule, or you can publish now. You can also click on save. Panable is very easy to use and it's actually very fun to navigate. Uh, it's very useful to managing multiple different types of page. And I suggest that if you have multiple pages from different social media and you want to manage them with ease, you should use Planable. And that's it guys. That's how to use Planable for beginners. Hope you enjoyed.